Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about whether or not a boot can be resized. So I've heard people asking the question quite often about, hey, my boots are a little too big or my boots are too small. Can I get them resized? And the answer is yes. If your boots are slightly too small, you can take them to a cobbler and have them stretch, and they can usually stretch them about a half a size. So if it's two sizes too small, that's not gonna be an option. But let's say when your foot's in the boot, it feels pretty good, but it's really tight around the throat and it's hard to get your foot in. That can also be stretched a little bit, and the shafts can actually be stretched slightly. Now, if you wanna do this, I would recommend doing it with a good quality boot because if you have a cheaply made boot, there's a possibility that something could fail, be it stitching or something else. So if you hear a cat in the background, that's my cat, please ignore it. He's really talkative today and doesn't wanna shut up. So let's say your boots are slightly too big. You can always put an insole in there and see if that takes up enough room. You can try a thick pair of socks. You can try two pair of socks. This usually works if they're a half size to a whole size too big. Again, if they're you know two sizes too big, that's probably not gonna work. Now, if you look up how to shrink a boot, there's a lot of stuff on the internet you're gonna find of home methods of how to shrink it. But from what I've told, that doesn't really work. And in my mind, I don't see how it will work because leather doesn't shrink, it expands or stretches. So if your boots are too big, or even if they're a little too small, your other option is to get them relasted by a cobbler. Now, you may have a hard time finding a cobbler who can do this because I don't think they all do, but people like Zane Maddox over at Snellville Boot Repair certainly can do it. They do it all the time. And if they're too big, you can have them relast and you can even change the toe shape on them. If they're too small, it's gonna depend on how small they are. If they're two or three sizes too small, it's probably not gonna work because there has to be enough leather to stretch it to the new size you know, in order to fit you. The issue with relasting is the cost. It's not cheap, it's pretty expensive. So you have to weigh what is your boot worth to you and then what the added cost is gonna add to that. So if it's just a regular boot that you're not in love with and you're thinking about getting it relasted, I don't know if I would do that. Sometimes it's gonna cost you more than just buying a new pair of boots when it's all said and done. You know, when you factor in the cost of what your boot cost originally and then the cost of the relasting. Now, if it's a legacy boot that was handed down to you, you know, possibly by your grandfather or your dad or your mom if you're a woman, or if it was just a gift from somebody special, you may wanna go the relasting route because you know the cost is probably gonna be worth it to you. And you could take a boot, you know, you could get it to your size, you could even change the toe shape, and then you would have the boot that your family member wore or that was a gift to you, and then you can make it the exact boot that you want. Now that's what I got for today, guys. I hope this helps if you've been wondering about relasting or resizing a boot. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to check out my Patreon link down below. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to everybody who's watching. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.